You've probably seen celebrities or athletes using red light therapy for anything from skin rejuvenation to muscle or joint tenderness. Is it a gimmick or does it actually work? Hi, I'm Dr. Chen. Welcome to the Loombox channel where I share science-based information on this new healing modality called red light therapy. And today we're going to look at what the science says about red light therapy. Now, if you're a visual learner, we also have an ebook that summarizes everything I share in this video, which you can download for free in the link below. Now, red light therapy has gained a lot of attention in the last couple of decades, and there are now over 2000 published studies on red light therapy. The fancy term for it is photobiomodulation. And it was NASA who actually put red light therapy on the map when astronauts who were experimenting using red light to grow plants for food and space found that the wounds and injuries on their hands actually healed faster when exposed to red light. So that then spurred a whole load of scientific research in the last 30 or so years, which we're going to look at shortly. Now, before we look at studies, let's have a think about how red light therapy is actually thought to work. The cells in our bodies require energy to work. For example, our brain cells need energy to think and remember things. Our skin cells require energy to produce collagen, which maintains the youthfulness of our skin. Our muscle cells require energy to contract. Our liver cells require energy to detoxify and so on. But where does this energy come from? Our mitochondria. These are the powerhouses inside of our cells which turn the food that we eat into energy which then our cells can use. And what's really special about red light is two things. Number one, our mitochondria actually have receptors for red and near-infrared light and are activated by it. In other words, when red light hits our mitochondria, they can produce more energy in the form of ATP. Red and near-infrared wavelengths can penetrate our skin and travel deep into our tissues, which means they can reach our cells easier than other wavelengths of light. For example, blue, which doesn't really penetrate the skin very well. So what does this all mean in terms of benefits we can see or feel? Well, let's have a look. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss other videos where I share useful information on how to use red light therapy. Now, one popular use of red light therapy is for skin rejuvenation. And there are several clinical studies that have shown a reduction in wrinkles, improved elasticity, skin texture, with both red and near infrared light. For example, in this small study of 24 people, 19 female, five male, where they used LED-based red light therapy twice a week, the people in the study showed an improvement in skin texture and elasticity after eight weeks. And in this other study, which is a great prospective, randomized placebo-controlled, double-blind study, which is basically the gold standard of clinical trials, they used an LED device that had both red and near-infrared wavelengths for 12 weeks and showed statistically significant reduction in wrinkles and skin elasticity three months after treatment. So they didn't just base their um, results on subjective assessment based on appearances. They actually took skin biopsies, punch biopsies from 19 of the participants, and they showed an increase in collagen in these biopsies. So there you have it. There is some pretty compelling evidence from the scientific literature that shows LED-based red light therapy may be helpful in firming up skin, improving texture, and also improving the appearance of wrinkles. Now, not all red light therapy devices are the same though. They vary a lot in terms of power, wavelengths, which in turn determine how effective they are. Download our ebook link below this video to guide you on how to pick the best one. Now, can red light therapy also help other things like acne, breakouts, and how about pain and inflammation? I'll discuss all of this and the scientific evidence behind them in another video. Hit that subscribe and like button and stay tuned for more science-based content on red light therapy.